There's a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm Who's always hard at work or play If Farmer Fee's got a problem or a job to be done It's Tractor Tom that saves the day Here's Tractor Tom Tom, 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 Tom What would we do without you? Three cheers for Tom Tom, 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 hooray We couldn't do it without you it was a quiet day at Spring Hill Farm. Fee and Matt were loading apple boxes onto Tom's trailer. Right, that's all done and we've got no other jobs to do today. I'd go home and watch TV, but mine's broken. We could make our own entertainment for a change. What do you mean? Instead of TV, we could both put on a show. What sort of show? I've had an idea, but I'm not telling you yet. <coughs> Oh, Purdy. It's like magic the way she can appear from nowhere. That's an idea. I'll do a magic show. Purdy wasn't happy. She had an itch on her back that just wouldn't go away. Fee set to work on her... Shush! It's a secret. Let's get started, Riff. <laughs> Go away! Matt started to practice his magic tricks. I've got absolutely nothing up my sleeve. Well, they weren't up my sleeve. Rev told Tom he could do a magic trick too. <laughs> he made all the animals disappear. Rev thought this was very funny. But Tom knew he'd be the one who'd have to find all the missing animals. Purdy was still trying to scratch her back. <laughs> Tom started by looking for the hens. And with one wave of my magic wand... Amazing! Oh, they weren't supposed to appear. Tom tried the same trick with the flower pots, and it worked. <laughs> Fee was busy with. Go away! I told you it's a secret. And for the lady, a beautiful bunch of roses. They smell... Ugh, like they've been under my jacket for too long. Next, Tom found the ducks. <laughs> Birdie finally found the perfect place to scratch her back. It was the highest branch of the very tallest tree on the farm. Tom had found all the missing animals, except for Snicker. Winnie didn't know where he could be. <coughs> Tom knew how to find him. And with my magic spoon, I'll make this teapot rise into the air. Oh, oh, oh. Should have emptied it first. 
Poor Snicker was stuck in the mud. Finally, Purdy got rid of her itch. The only problem she had now was how to get down. But nobody heard Purdy's calls for help, because finally it was time to find out what Fee's secret was. So what's the big secret? Watch this. You mean the sheep? Look what I've taught them. that. Oh, I will. You ain't seen nothing yet. Tom, can you get everyone on the farm back to the barn? I want a huge audience for Matt the Magnifico's marvellous manifestation of magic. <laughs> Tom realised that someone else was missing. Where was Purdy? <laughs> Tom looked everywhere for Purdy. <laughs> now, which saucepan is my mobile phone under? It's not this one. Or this one, so it must be. Oh, dear. <laughs> is this what you're looking for? My next trick is the amazing vanishing duck. <coughs> now you see her. Now you don't. <coughs> you see two of her. Hmm. I'll try a card trick. Something that the dancing sheep had done gave Tom an idea. <laughs> All right, very funny. Who's got my cards? <laughs> Look what you've done to them. It's like Purdy does to the carpets. Wait a minute. Where is Purdy? I don't know. I've just realised I haven't seen her all afternoon. You didn't make her disappear, did you? <laughs> no. I hope she's all right. I think we should go and look for her. She really has disappeared. We need some real magic now. Well done, Tom. That was the most fantastic piece of magic I've ever seen. Tom's done the best of all. But you know what? Rev's got this great trick. He can make every animal in the farmyard disappear. Show her, Rev. Oh, dear. Tom's definitely the winner. Hey, you know the bad thing about this trick of Tom's? What? We have to load all those boxes back onto his trailer again. We'll be here till the middle of the night.
what have we started, Riff? The sheep are having a disco! Can't someone stop them dancing, please? There's a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm Who's always hard at work or play A farmer fee's got a problem or a job to be done It's Tractor Tom that saves the day Here's Tractor Tom Tom, 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 Tom What would we do without you? Three cheers for Tom Tom, 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 hooray We couldn't do it without you One hot day at Spring Hill Farm, Fee and Tom were hard at work. Phew! The sooner we get this haystack built, the sooner we can go and cool down. All right, I'm tired too. Come on, Tom, nearly there. Not everyone was working. Wheezy was still tired after the harvest. The hens were exhausted from laying their eggs for the day. And Purdy just liked sleeping. She was too lazy even to snore. But their afternoon sleep didn't last long. Hi, everyone. It was Matt in his pickup truck, Rev. Who wants to see my fantastic new mobile phone? Oh, be like that. Has anyone seen Fee? <coughs> All right, go back to sleep. That's the last one, Tom, so be careful or the whole stack will fall down. Come on, Tom, you can do it. I wonder where Fee's got to. Dun, 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 dun. Slow down, Tom. It's too hot to rush around. What's wrong? Overheating? <laughs> hey, put me down! Oh, no! Was Fee on the haystack? She could be anywhere. I know. I'll ring her on my new mobile phone. There. I can hear it. Careful, Tom. We don't want to hurt her. It's a scarecrow. Oh, it's me. Thank you. Back in the barn, everyone was dozing off again, or trying to. <laughs> Tom drove Matt and Fee back to the farmhouse, and no one noticed that the sheep were heading for the hay. The ducks still couldn't find anywhere to settle. Back at the farmhouse, Matt told Fee about his new mobile phone. It's really small and light, but the best thing is you can record any ringtone you like. Oh no, I've lost it. <laughs> Let's do what 
what you did to find me. I'll call your phone and you listen for the ringtone. I can't hear it. You must have dropped it somewhere outside. <laughs> but the sheep had made their own ringtone. <laughs> v and Matt looked all over the farm. But they couldn't hear the phone anywhere. But Fee did see the sheep. They're eating all my hay! In the barn, the ducks still couldn't find anywhere to sit. <laughs> It's no good. We've looked everywhere. I'm never going to find it. It must be somewhere. Try calling your number again. I can't hear it. Can you? No. Be quiet, Mo. Mo, shush. It's no good. It's gone. Tom thinks he can find it. There's no point, Tom. Is it in Moe's field, Riff? <laughs> I'll call the number again. Tom, what are you doing? Hey, put me down. I don't know what's got into you two. We're looking for Matt's phone. We haven't got time to play games. Let's go. This is terrible. I need that phone. I know, but we've looked everywhere. It really is lost. Finally, Whack and Back found a place where they weren't annoying anyone. <coughs> Tom was tired after his long hot day. But he still noticed that something about whack just wasn't right. So he blew his horn. And then he knew where the phone was. Tom, what is it? He wants us to try the phone again. can hear is whack and back. There's no phone, Tom. Tom had an idea. If he woke Purdy, she would chase the ducks. <coughs> That's weird. The ducks have gone. But I can still hear them. Over here. It's your phone. Hello. Hi, Matt. Why is your phone quacking? It must have recorded Wax voice by accident. No wonder we couldn't find it. 
but Tom could. And I know of a way to say thank you. What? It's a surprise. So Matt drove home with his new mobile phone safe and sound. And Fee gave Tom a good long shower. That's better. I think it's time we gave Matt his surprise, don't you? What's that noise? Is it a car? Is it a plane? No, it's my mobile phone. Hi, Fee. Hi, Matt. It's me and Tom. We hope you like your new ringtone. Yes, I'll keep this one. It'll remind me of all the help Tom gave me. Bye. I don't need a ringtone to tell me how much help you are, because I know already. 